Well, greetings and salutations once again to everybody that's out there on YouTube land watching us. This is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. Find us online at alamomusic.com. Uh, this is a follow-up video to one we did last week on the top 10 guitars uh, under $300. We've already had some requests for a follow-up and we were planning to do it, so we're glad that you guys asked. Today we're going to be looking at the top 10 guitars between $300 and $600 price range. Now as we go through this, I am going to talk about how much each of these guitars costs, and that can change. So go to our website at alamomusic.com and check to see what the latest pricing on all of these guitars is. If you're interested, let us know. Buy our stuff. We love to do this from an altruistic standpoint and let you know what the great guitars are. But we love to sell it to you as well and find these guitars wonderful homes. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll need to do something kind of like a, uh, a, a poor guitar video. These guitars need homes and you can help them find homes for just a few dollars a day um, to pay for them. So, uh, if you hear some noise in the background, we are in downtown San Antonio, and there is ever construction going on, so uh, we'll be listening to some wonderful guitar, maybe with some percussive construction noise in the background. Uh, but without any further ado, let's get started. So the first guitar we're going to look at is the Cordoba C5. Now Cordoba makes guitars in a range of prices starting from around $150 all the way up to five, dollars $6,000 for their Master Build series. This guitar is part of the Iberia series, which is geared toward students who want a good quality guitar. The C5 starts off the range with a mahogany laminate body guitar with a solid cedar top. It's got typical fan bracing, Spanish shield construction, Really, it's a quality built guitar for not very much money. This particular model is the C5 with a Western Sunburst finish, which Cordoba came out as an option last year. It's a wonderful looking guitar. It's got good quality materials, good quality tuners. It's well built and has a wonderful tone. Since we're talking about three to $600 price range, I'm going to talk about some of the other guitars in this series as well. The C7 moves up from the C5 to include laminate rosewood back and sides along with a cedar, uh, solid cedar top. You get a gig bag with the C7 as well as the F7 and the F7 Paco, which is a new uh, addition to that range. Once you move into some of the CE models in the 7 series, um, you know, that has electronics and a cutaway, you go above that $600 price point just a bit. Um, but you can get the C5 with a cutaway and electronics in both the standard depth version as well as a thin line model for less than $600. So, uh, the Iberia series is something to seriously look at in this price range. For today, we've chosen to feature the C5 Sunburst, which kicks off that uh, range in the price category and is a good representation of what you can get uh, in that lineup. So let's hear what it sounds like. the same price is another classical guitar from Yamaha. Now, as we discussed in our last video, Yamaha is known for making high quality guitars at very competitive price points. Their classical guitars have been go-to guitars for decades. This guitar is no different. Now, there's a lot of guitars from Yamaha within the $300 to $600 price range that would be classical guitars that come with solid tops. The reason we chose this one is because it's a little bit different than what you can typically get in that price range. The CG172SF features laminate back and sides of cypress, and the top is solid spruce, European spruce, with tap plates on it. The guitar has a decidedly more flamenco style to it. it the spruce top versus cedar is going to give you a brighter tone than you would typically get on a normal classical guitar, and the tap plates allow you to uh, utilize some tapping with your nails and typical Roscato type stuff uh, on a flamenco style guitar or play normal classical pieces. But basically it's a little bit different than what you can typically get in this price point. And like most Yamahas, it's a really good quality guitar 
with a great tone and sound to it as well as build quality. So let's give it a listen to and, uh, and see what you think. It comes in at a wonderful price of $349.99. So right at $350, bucks, you get a whole lot of guitar. Let's check it out. Alright, the next guitar on our list, falling under $399, is the Sonoran uh, from Fender. It's part of their California series of acoustic guitars. At $349.99, $350 price point, it's a lot of guitar for the money. And it's one of the popular series that we see people uh, attracted to in our store. Now, it's got a, a host of kind of unique features that really set this apart from a lot of acoustics on the market in its price range. One of the benefits is that, again, you have a solid top. Now, that's something that you've seen so far in the video. Once you move above a $300 price point, that becomes common. So we have a solid Sitka spruce top, laminate back and sides, beautiful perloid binding, matching pick guard, and what's interesting about it is it's got a maple, not mahogany, neck that's basically like an electric style neck, Stratocaster headstock on it, cool kind of ivoroid uh, plastic uh, vintage looking tuners. I mean, it's just, it's got a, some cool style to it. It's also got a pickup on it. It's got a Fisherman pickup with a built-in tuner and a cutaway. So it's a lot of guitar for the money. It's got a pretty cool vintage style tone. You have onboard preamp pickup system you can plug and play. It's great for coffee shops, open mics, stuff like that. So we're gonna give it a listen to and see what you think. I should say, and, and our editor, Nick, can hopefully put this up here uh, on the video. This comes in a host of colors. We've got black, uh, there's like a Coca-Cola red, and one of the favorites that a lot of people tend to love is the, uh, it's kind of a surf green or seafoam green. It's one of the others, don't crucify me if I got the actual name of the particular color of green that Fender is using wrong. But that particular shade of green is one of our uh, employee, Joseph Slocum's, favorite colors on this guitar. So you ought to check it out. Uh, we're going to put up a picture right now and we keep these in stock. So if you're interested in one of these Sonorans, let us know. Now the next few guitars that we're going to look at all fall within the same price range, right at $399. Now, it's not uncommon to see guitars all kind of fall along the spectrum, but the ones we're going to look at are all very, very different. This first one is one of the new models from Guild. This is the Jumbo Junior. Now we did a more in-depth review of this guitar along with a comparison to Taylor's GS Mini, which it is a direct competitor to last week. So go check out that video so you can see a more in-depth review of one of these Jumbo Juniors with maple back and sides that we did and how it compares to Taylor's GS Mini, another guitar within the uh, category we're looking at today. This guitar is a fantastic new addition to the Guild lineup. It's a small Jumbo, they call it the Jumbo Junior. So it's kind of like the GS Mini. It's been shrunk down to size with a great curvaceous look. It's got a solid Sitka spruce top, laminate mahogany back and sides. Um, you've got a mahogany neck and uh, a built-in pickup system, which is really nice, along with rosewood fingerboard, bridge, uh, open back tuners, inlaid guild logo, binding. It's a really fantastic looking guitar and great value. Uh, the addition of the pickup at this price point of $399 is fantastic. Not to mention that you get a fit really good gig bag with it as well. So let's give it a listen to and see what you think. So the next one at 399 is the Martin LX1E. This is part of the Little Martin line, 
and it's 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 a little Martin. Uh, this one happens to have a pickup in it. It's a good value for the money. So you've got a solid spruce top on it, laminate back and sides, uh, part of Martin's HPL, high pressure laminate systems that they use on the X series line. Uh, you've got a great pickup in it, built in tuner, a really cool looking uh, Stratabon neck. Now, the sad part about these is that like 50 Stratocasters had to die to make one Stratabon neck, but you know, we do what we have to do. Thankfully, they were made in Mexico Stratocasters, so you don't have to get up in arms. That's a joke. If you guys take that seriously, um, I have a bridge to sell you. So um, now the fretboard and the bridge are not ebony. They are dark looking like ebony, but they are actually rich light, which is a man-made material um, that wears really well. It's nice and hard, um, and it's smooth to play on. So it's a very good alternative to using ebony, which is becoming more and more uh, scarce. So good quality guitar, and it's a Martin uh, for very little money, and uh, you know a small three-quarter size guitar. Now, why would you buy a three-quarter size guitar? Let's talk about that because we've got the Guild that we just looked at in this price range. Um, Baby Taylors are in this price range as well. Uh, GS minis and so forth. These are becoming ever more popular for children as well as for people who travel. You can take it on a plane with you, you can take it backpacking with you, and it's a good quality real guitar. It's not something that's a toy, it's a real guitar and with that solid spruce top it has really good tone to it. And this actually has a Martin tone. When we listen to a Baby Taylor in a moment you're going to hear it's more of a Taylor tone. So it, they haven't just taken and made a small guitar and slapped their name on it. They've actually designed it and it sounds like they have. So let's give it a listen to. Okay, another guitar in the $399 price range is this beauty from Yamaha. Now, I've made it clear, I'm a huge fan of these guitars. The change this year to having scallop bracing makes everything in the FG800 lineup a more resonant guitar. Now, the benefit of a $306 price range, uh, $300 $600 price range, is that you have solid wood tops on these guitars. And that gives you the ability to really have a different tone available. In this particular case, the FG850 deviates from the FG830 in that instead of rosewood back and sides, you have laminate uh, mahogany back and sides with a mahogany top. You still have beautiful abalone rosette and you have lighter uh, stained mahogany binding which really offsets the guitar. It gives it all a great look. Bound neck, uh, bound uh, headstock with purfling in there. It sets it off, it gives it a really handsome look. Now the really cool thing about it too is the mahogany top, which we've talked about in prior videos, gives you an entirely different tone than spruce does. Spruce is bright. It has a great headroom, meaning you can get a lot of volume out of it and it projects very well. Mahogany is different. Mahogany has a very warm, mid-range rich tone. So if you were looking at, say, a bell curve of an EQ, it would kind of go up like this and have a spike in the mid-range. The other thing that it does is it has some natural compression. So whereas with spruce, if we strum it harder, it's going to get louder. With mahogany, it's going to become more focused. It has natural compression that takes place. So it's great for kind of bluesy type runs, and we're gonna we've got this tuned into drop D where it just really seems to shine. We're gonna give you a little taste of what I'm talking about. Keeping in the $399 price range is this new model from Guild. This is part of Guild's Archback series. Check out our video that we're going to be doing covering the entire lineup of this. Now this is kind of a, a cheating option here because actually what I'm going to be talking to you about is two different guitars. This is the Dreadnought version of the guitar, the D240E. Behind me over to my left hand side, which is probably your right hand side but I digress, is the orchestra model of this guitar. Now they feature, they basically have the same features in different shapes. It's a solid spruce top 
laminate mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck, it's got scallop bracing, rosewood bridge, rosewood fretboard, open back tuners, inlaid guild logo, beautiful cream binding, and a bone nut and saddle, which really helps to bring out the resonance of this guitar. They're very resonant, they've got a great kind of vintage voice to them, and they come with a gig bag. So they're a huge value for the money. Let's check it out. So we're moving up now from the $399 price range. At $489 is the Baby Taylor Koa model. It's the BT-1E. Now, Taylor makes a range of Baby Taylor models. Starting at about $320, uh, don't quote me on that, except I'm on video, so I guess it really doesn't matter, but check our website for the latest pricing always. Uh, but from about that price range on up, this would be the range topper, and it's not always available. Koa is a rare wood that comes from Hawaii, and when they have pieces that are too small for, say, the full-size models or even a GS Mini, then these Koa Baby Tailors become available. So they're always kind of a treat with a range of different aesthetics and looks from flamed tops to something with sapwood and all sorts of cool stuff and the wonderful tone of Koa. So, pretty cool option. Either way, you can get a Baby Taylor with or with without electronics. All of the models that come with electronics now feature Taylor's new ES2 system, along with a preamp that features a built-in tuner. Now, the typical construction of a Baby Taylor is the same across all models. You have a laminate back and sides with a solid top of either spruce, mahogany, or in this case, Koa. You have a mahogany neck, or sapele neck actually, with an ebony fingerboard and ebony bridge, real ebony fingerboard and ebony bridge, and a micarta uh, nut and a tusk saddle. So they're a huge value. They've been a uh, huge seller for many, many years for a three-quarter size guitar. Taylor makes their own gig bag that it comes with, which is a fantastic bag, and they make this in their own factory down in Mexico. They don't outsource this, someone else is not making it for, uh, for them, and so that Taylor quality that they are known for, the fit and finish and the playability, is spot on here. Um, now, I should say, just as a disclosure, I've owned a baby Taylor for about 15 years. It was actually the first Taylor my wife bought me. It's also a Koa model, Koa back and sides with a spruce top. And it's got a lot of play. It's gone to many beaches and camping trips and uh, it's not uh, very uh, uncommon now for me to lose the thing because my children have stolen it away and they are in their rooms playing guitar. So lucky them. I have a GS Mini now. But uh, they're great guitars and I can attest to it through personal experience. So if you're interested in a baby Taylor, either the Spruce Top, Mahogany Top, Koa Top, Taylor Swift model, what have you, then give us a call and buy our stuff. If you're interested in the Taylor Swift model, let me recommend our review of the Taylor Swift versus Ed Sheeran model. I think you'll like it. Let's check this one out and see what you think. At $499, we have a really killer guitar. This is a new guitar from Ibanez, and part of their uh, Artwood Vintage series. The AVN 6 Artwood Vintage uh, Parlor Guitar comes with a relict or distressed look, according to Ibanez. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not usually a huge fan of, say, uh, distressed or relict guitars. I figure if I've got an old guitar, I take care of it, and over the years of me playing it, it wears out. 
then that's fine. Occasionally I come across something that's been made distressed or relic and has a really good feel and you just can't pass it up. This guitar just oozes coolness. It's got such a cool vintage vibe um, and you wouldn't know what it is if you didn't look at this, the label inside on the sound hole. Now it's laminate back and sides with solid mahogany top construction. It's got a mahogany neck. It's got uh, a slot of headstock with vintage style closed gear tuners. The thing's just killer. I mean, it looks like it stepped right out of the 30s and into my lap. And what I really, really like about these guitars is they are incredibly resonant. They've got a, uh, a thin satin finish, um, scallop bracing, and they just sound phenomenal. We're going to look at the Dreadnought version here in a little bit, but I love finger picking on this little 12 fret parlor guitar. So, let's check it out. All right, next up, also at $4.99, is the other Artwood Vintage guitar from Ibanez. This is the AVD6 DTS for Distressed. So again, this is a Distressed or Relic style guitar. Uh, it has the same features as the last one, only it's a 14 fret dreadnought with a solid mahogany top. Uh, this also has some cream binding, which really sets it off. And it's got, again, just a fantastic look. It plays really well. It's very, very resonant. And these guitars have what I would call like a, kind of a lo-fi tone. Think like 1930s Gibson-esque tone, which is fantastic, particularly with Mahogany Top, for some blues. And so that's what we're going to play. Check it out. Also coming in at $4.99 is this new model from Guild, the 2512E, or F2512E. This is part of the uh, Arched Back series. It's basically a laminate maple bodied jumbo with a Sitka spruce top, mahogany neck, rosewood, fingerboard and bridge, uh, cream binding inlaid uh, Guild uh, logo, there is the word, up on the headstock and proloid rosette. It's also got a Fisherman pickup in it. Um, and comes with a gig bag. It's a lot of guitar for the money. And as far as 12 strings go, this may be one of the very best values out there on the market. We'll be doing another video, putting it up against a prime competitor and see what you guys think. But for now at $4.99, this is really, really hard to beat. If you're in the market for a good quality 12 string with a solid top for not much money, I mean, how can you go wrong? Now, in the interest of fairness, as you're about to listen to this wonderful jangly 12 string, I will say that we have it tuned down a whole step because we can and because I like it. And if it's out of tune a little bit, do you know how long it tunes a 12 string? Nobody does, okay? So we're gonna go with it and see what you think. Okay, now we're starting to reach the top of our range, right at $599.99, bring it just under $600, is this great guitar from Martin, part of the X series. This is the Triple O X1 AE. It's a Triple O body guitar, which means it's kind of like a small body, like auditorium sized guitar, and it's got a shorter scale. It's 24 and a half inch scale. Features a solid Sitka spruce top with A frame bracing, which is a design Martin came up with to uh, take advantage of laminate back and side guitars, which is what this has. It's an HPL laminate mahogany back and sides. It has a uh, Stratabond laminated neck like we saw on the little Martin that we played earlier, as well as similar uh, material for the fingerboard 
dashboard and bridge of rich light my car to saddle and bridge it's got uh, chrome closed back tuners on it and uh, it doesn't come with a bag at this price point but it's a really fantastic guitar where you get a lot for the money uh, it does have a pickup in it it's a fisherman sonotone pickup you have controls right here in the sound hole for volume and overall tone control and then down here on the bottom you've got your output controls with a battery compartment as well so let's give it a listen to and see what you think now i will say this before we get started there is a host of guitars in the X series and if you've been paying attention so far we've actually gone through more than 10 guitars now the reason for that is because some of the guitars that we've looked at have been part of a series of guitars where it's really kind of the same features and the same price with different body shapes this is no different you can get this guitar with different uh, top materials uh, and either uh, triple O body or dreadnought body and so forth so check out our website for the other models available in this series from Martin Guitars finish things off in our price category up to $600, we enter into Taylor's 100 series line. The 110E and 114 have been perennial favorites for a very, very long time. They've won many awards from different publications, and they're guitars that we see fly off the shelves on a regular basis. Now, the feature is going to be the same between them. Um, the only difference is really the body shape. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Taylor's Grand Auditorium body is the most popular in their lineup across all of their various series. And it's basically just as wide and just as deep as a Dreadnought guitar, which you'd see sitting over to my left, which is the Taylor 110E. The 114, however, as a Grand Auditorium, features a tighter waist. Pulling this in accentuates the high end, the trebles uh, in the tonal spectrum of the guitar. They also string this with light gauge strings versus the medium gauge strings that you'd have on the Dreadnought. The difference is that the Dreadnought's gonna have a little bit more bass and more volume available, whereas the Grand Auditorium is gonna have bell-like treble strings or, or treble tone coming out of it. I liken this guitar to a bit of a, a do-all, jack-of-all trades. It can handle light to medium strumming very well, picking, uh, finger picking, flat picking, what have you. It's really a all-around good guitar. Now the Dreadnought guitar can also handle finger picking, but it's going to favor a flat pick or strum more than a finger picking style of playing. Now these guitars are also available with cutaways, but that pushes us above our $600 price point. But at $599, you get a solid Sitka spruce top with Taylor's standard two scalloped bracing, laminate back and sides uh, of Sapele, Sapele neck, uh, chrome ping tuners, or Taylor branded ping tuners. Um, you get a real ebony fingerboard, ebony bridge, pick guard, the ES2 system, and a Taylor gig bag, which is one of the best gig bags out there. So it's really a lot of value for the money. And like I said, one of our favorite guitars for the resonance and the clarity and articulation that you get from Taylor, along with the bag and just the overall value that they, uh, that they, they feature and possess. So let's listen to this 114. We'll also have a, a comparison online of what a one, what a 14 body versus a 10 body versus a 12 grand concert dread on so forth uh, sound like what the differences are between them so be watching for that. So for our next guitar, 
wait, let's address something real quick. Uh, this isn't a time warp again, and it's not the Oscar, so I didn't just do a wardrobe change. We had a bit of an issue with one of the videos that we shot for our lineup of 10 guitars between $300 and $600, and it was such an amazing guitar in that price range, we couldn't leave it out. And so, this guitar, the Taylor GS Mini, has got to be included in this lineup. Uh, this guitar is a game changer. Uh, travel size, three quarter size, call it for a kid guitar. We sell most of them to adults who want a smaller guitar. Um, people who want to either take it for travel or they like the short scale length, what have you. Taylor took the, the notion of leaving a GS, a Grand Symphony guitar, in the dryer for too long, shrunk it down and made this amazing guitar. I own one. Um, we sell a ton of these. And it's a great guitar in this price range. Now, it also goes into the next price range we'll be looking at once you add electronics. But at $529, you could get the GS Mini with a solid spruce top or solid mahogany top with laminate sapele back and sides. It's got a, a sapele neck, ebony fretboard, ebony bridge, tusk nut, uh, and micarta, or micarta nut tusk saddle. One of those. Uh, it's about 23 and three quarters or seven eighths scale. Um, and they put medium gauge strings on it, which is a stroke of genius. So here's the idea you've got a shorter, shorter scale guitar, you put medium gauge strings on it, it brings more tension to the top, it stabilizes the tuning that may otherwise be a little wonky on a shorter scale guitar, and the feel is there. It feels like a regular full scale guitar with light gauge strings on it. Um, so, I mean, we cannot say enough. This guitar is, has had accolades, feasted upon it. It's won many, many awards, and it's uh, Taylor's best, well, probably one of their best-selling models. I know that for our store, it's definitely one of the best-selling models of Taylor that we carry. Uh, the cool thing about it is that it's available in different flavors. So the spruce is nice and bright. The mahogany has a richer, more, uh, more mid-range tone to it. And if you, when you go up to the next higher price ranges that we'll be featuring, you get electronics, you can get rosewood back inside, spruce top, mahogany top, or even a nice Koa model when they're available. Uh, like we have in stock right now. So, the Taylor GS Mini could not go unsaid. Uh, we've covered this guitar a lot in the past, and so check out some of the wonderful tones that you get out of this baby. Thanks for watching.